Hey guys, your Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share a hands-on look of my latest smartwatch from Misfit. Uh, this I just received it yesterday, and I got it very cheap. That's one of the reasons I bought it. The smartwatch that I've been using that you see all the time on the video is this right here, which is the Tick Watch. I really like it. It's a very, very, very good watch. It's also LTE compatible and it's really really damn cool and i've been using this since day one since i did the videos for this smartwatch really awesome watch um but i just got this watch because it was on sale uh normally this watch goes for 280 dollars. that's what it says right there 280 dollars. and there was a sale like a week ago for 40 dollars so I'll leave links in my descriptions just in case it's still on sale. Um, but for $40, I couldn't let it pass on. So there it is. So this watch actually has heart rate, pay as you go. So it has Google Pay, GPS, swim proof, and it also has phone free music. That means you can listen music from the watch without your phone. And of course, Wear OS compatible and Misfit, blah, blah, blah. VaporX, I guess it's the model of the watch. And that's it. Hashtag beam is fit. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm going to go ahead and do the initial unboxing, then set it up. Then we'll be back with the second half of the video when I finally set it up. But there it is. It looks pretty damn good. It looks nice from the box. Um, this also comes in different colors, but there was, of course, since it was on sale, uh, there was a whole bunch of colors that were sold out. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay the watch went flying <laughs> luckily it landed on on the carpet um here we got the charging cable it better come with a pad yes it does it come with this little pad right here that's cool that's good very small tiny pad and i believe there is like a manual as well this is a very thick manual and touch screen I guess this is like the starting guide. There you go. And that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And here is the watch. Look at that. So this is supposed to be, I think, is rose gold or gold. And uh, white belt. But it actually comes in different other colors. It comes with uh, blue belt and silver. That's the one that I was going to get, but it was sold out. It was really sold out, so I had to actually get this one, which kind of... I like white color. If you've been following me on my channel, you know that I like the color white. So I didn't hesitate to actually buy this one because I like white anyways. In reality, it's not white. Uh, the watch itself is like gold. Look at that. Nice, very cool gold looking. It's like rose gold. There you go. Not bad. So let's go ahead, take this plastic off. All right, look at that. That looks very cool. Uh, it's gonna turn it on. Okay, let's go and see how it would look in my wrist before we go ahead and start with the setup. Um, I, I'm trying to turn it on. I, I guess it has no battery. I guess I'm gonna have to let it charge a little bit before I actually start to set it up. And go part like that okay that's how the bottom part of the belt looks like this belt is kind of weird there see that there you go so that's how it looks like that very cool and there you go nice i like the color the color looks really damn ball awesome the white belt and you can actually buy, if you don't like the white belt, you can actually buy a black belt. And um, it, most likely it will definitely match. It will definitely match the body of the, of the watch itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this watch and set it up with my smartwatch. Then we'll be back as soon as I can. Okay, so here we are back again with the second half of the video. Keep in mind, the phone, I guess it needed to be plugged into the charger. So it can, it can actually turn on because all I did was uh, plug uh, plug this to the wall, then put this here. Then the, the watch started turning on. And I can see right there is actually charging. It's already at 99%. Right there, very cool. You see the misfit color, and look at that. 
it turned to 100 on this video that's cool so that like you see that that little ring right there turns green when it's completely charged it's 8 49 in the morning and one thing to keep in mind let me just go show you guys the android wear app which is the one that you're going to use to set up your smartphone of course this is the vapor x and this is actually 42 millimeter size this is the 42 millimeter size i just checked the website and it's totally sold out every single color whatsoever here are all the faces you can actually switch to which is cool i love this app because this app lets you switch between things really easily a lot easier than on the watch look at that very cool watches there and of course you got the tiles there as well but of course let's go ahead and put this watch on right and see how it looks look at that so right now i haven't done the initial setup on the phone or the initial walkthrough so i'm going to do it the first time here on this video uh this strap for those asking the strap that this actually use is 20 millimeter 20 millimeter strap so you can go to amazon and just go ahead and buy any 20 millimeter uh, strap and put it here on this and that's it oh, you, you're gonna get different colors and that is it look at that awesome nice okay so let's go ahead and let's go learn more from the watch it's going to zoom in here a little bit more it's going to zoom in there and there you go so here you got of course every time you set up or you turn or start using one of these watches for the first time there's going to be like a tutorial showing you how the watch actually works if you use an android wear uh, phone or smartwatch you're going to be very familiarized because basically all these functions they need to be the same they have to meet google standard so they all have to meet you know have the same functions swipe to this side now we have the tiles which is a very cool feature that was added to android where you could tap and hold and you know you could eliminate one of the tiles you could click right there and i could go ahead and do like uh it's gonna put the timer clock right there and that's it i could click i could swipe down you got the settings or the this is basically like the notification or toggle function um, page uh, you got settings over here display um, brightness i like to leave it always instead of automatic i like to leave it on three let's see if i if it automatically it's gonna put it on four for the purpose of this video but normally i just leave it on three and click there swipe down and this is where you're going to get all your notifications and you click right there expands the notifications and you clear uh over here lets you go to the buttons and you tap again and it goes you back to home screen tap and hold and here is where you can switch your faces watch faces that's so cool so look at this smart face right there says enjoy okay so now it's gonna let me use the watch how i'm supposed to or however i want to use it so that face right there is kind of weird because you can't barely see the watch the, the time the time is right there 8 52 but it has other complications and you can barely see them so i don't like this one looks very colorful uh you can actually customize some of the weight uh faces can be customized like the color all the complications look at that awesome okay i like this one i like i really like that one that one looks pretty damn good so i might keep that one of course it has the always on display so when it turns where you're not using the watch it goes like that it fades like that and it stays like that you can actually turn that off if you don't like that if you want to save some extra more battery you could just turn it off but i love leaving it like that because at the end of the day i always end up putting my watch on the the charging pad no matter how much battery it has or or didn't burn at all so i'm always putting it there so i really like leave it like that so that's cool you know you can go back over here let's see the tiles you got the weather which is a tile that i always wear or i always use uh this is where you get the heartbeat right but right now i have to set this thing up right now um schedule the timer i always like to use a timer oh when i'm recording a video 
uh, on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, I just go ahead and hit here the 20 second, the 20 minutes, and it just counts down. So when I'm playing video games and it reaches 20 minutes, uh, it's that means it's t it's letting me know, hey, you already got your 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and stop the video or end the video so we can start editing. Because I try to always keep my videos around the 20 minutes. If not, I just keep on playing, never stop playing. Um, the cool thing about this watch, I got it so cheap. Supposedly, it's a hundred, $280 watch. And I got it for just $40. Sadly, it's sold out already. So if you go to the website, it's already sold out. I'll leave links to the website anyways. That way, you guys can go ahead and see it and see the specs. Uh, the size of the screen, this size of the screen is actually 1.2 AMOLED screen. The CPU in the inside is Snapdragon Wear 3100, which is not bad because if I'm not mistaken, that is the latest CPU. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I didn't do no, I didn't do my homework there. So I think that's the latest one, Snapdragon Wear 3100. If not, sorry. Um, it has four gigabytes of internal storage. So that means since you can actually listen to music from the watch without the cell phone, uh, you can store up to four gigabytes of music, which is not bad. It has 512 megabytes of RAM, which is not bad at all. GPS, awesome. So that's good because you can track your running or walking without using your, your smartphone. And NFC pay, pay, NFC for Google Pay. That's cool. So if I press here, let's see what it does. Okay, launches the Google Fit app which I don't want to do now, but these buttons can be customized. There you go. You got Google Pay right there. So if I want to set up, I just click right there and it sets it up. Uh, let's go and see another face there. See how it looks. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Yes, that looks really damn good. Look at that. And when it turns off, let's go and let it turn off. Look at that. Nice. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go and see the other one. That looks nice. I think I'm going to be using that one. And of course, these faces, like you see there, they can be customized. I can add more faces here. This one right here looks cool. This one's like a cloudy one. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this one. It matches the watch really nice because it has like a white cloud or like a fog. That looks really damn cool. Yeah, I'm not going to do that now. It's telling me to secure Google Pay, but we're not going to do that now. But let me see that this is Google Pay. This is Google Fit. This is for the applications. Uh, but uh, you can customize those buttons. You can actually go into the uh, settings and customize those buttons. Okay, look at that. This is another cool uh, face, which lets you strike the steps, heartbeat, or the weather, and the time. That's awesome. If I click right here, it takes me to the weather. Those are, you can see that those are interactable. So not bad. And also keep in mind, this is also swim proof as well. So you can actually go swimming with this watch. Uh, the battery life supposedly is 3300, no, 30, 330 milliamp per hour battery. So your battery life is going to depend on how you use. Normally, this lasts me like a 24 hours or almost two days, most of the times, depending how you're using it. But, you know, the first day, honestly, when you're using a smartwatch, you're going to go through it through the battery very fast because it's like your new toy. And um, most of the times, you know, when you're playing with a new toy, you use it a lot and you end up burning the battery really fast. So there you go. Look at that. That looks really damn cool, too. I like that. You can change the colors of the tiles. You got August, the the, the date, the weather, and I believe the, this is the, the steps and the time. Not bad. I'm really liking how it looks. You know, it's a good change from this one. I'm still going to be using my Tick Watch Pro, which I leave links in my description. I'll be using this watch and it's really damn good. It's over $200. Um, it has 4G LTE as well. This one does not have 4G LTE. So you have to use this paired to the watch so you can get calls and all that. Now, I don't know if this has a microphone. There it is. There is a little hole right there on the top. So, yes, it should have microphone. That's a microphone right there. So if you receive a call, you can answer the watch from here 
and that's it so that's not bad yeah it does have a microphone almost forgot to show you guys that the button can actually work it actually works as a crown like you see here you can actually move navigate around the clock or the watch like this and when you're here you can swipe down and it shows you the panel and when you swipe up it shows you the notification that's really cool All that it works like that you tap again and it takes you back there and that's it so you see there it's already registering my heart rate the steps see there it has a lot of cool applications plus remember you can always download a lot more applications tap right there this one counts down the time you're spending cleaning your hands you're supposed to clean your hands for isn't it 22 seconds something like that but there you have it guys so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about it thank i'll leave links in my description for this watch this is the misfit vapor x till next time guys bye bye